All right, guys. Uh, got a Tierra Sienna here today. The AC is completely dead. Zero. Nada. All right. So today, I'm going to check out this just like you would check your car or let's say your car would go to a mechanic shop so pretty much first thing first guys first thing first pull out the keys all right we're gonna start the car up it's dark in here i know that it's all right all right start up the car right let me put these lights on instead all right so we're gonna put the blower on we have wind coming in. Is it hot or cold? This is a normal temperature as the air outside, all right? So it's not cold. Make sure this knob is on blue, all right? If you put it on hot, oh yeah, it gets hot. Oh yeah, it goes back to normal temperature, all right? So pretty much what I did here was I checked my blender motor. Does it open to heat? Does it open to AC and close the heat if that occurs all right indication my my more door motor down here which opens AC side or heat side is working all right the switch pretty much I feel nothing in the car like no click no load in the engine rpms does not change all right so nothing happens all right so pretty much the AC is dead so what would I do next is if you cannot indicate if you're not sure if your temperature changes cold and hot you can also go outside all right I'm gonna shut off the car but let's say if you leave your car on let's say you put the AC on everything clicks and you feel that load that's an indication maybe your AC works or maybe it doesn't work all right but what would I do in your case let me turn off these lights let's go outside Oh God. So, you see these pipes right here? These are AC pipes right here, right? This is an AC pipe. This pipe will be cold. If your AC works and this pipe is cold, if you touch it, it's cold, it has moisture on it, pretty much your AC compressor, everything is working. It's just that maybe your blender motor is not opening to the AC side, all right? But anyways, if it's not cold, like in my case, it is not cold, all right? It is not cold. I'm going to open up this cap, right? That's the cap I'm going to take out, the low side. It'll say the L letter on it. Sometimes it's blue, right? Let's put that somewhere safe. Let's put it right up there, right? Also, guys, let's say you put your AC on, right? Let's say put your AC on and these fans come on, right? If both of these fans, radiator fans down here come on, that's a sign that your system is working it does have pressure in the system. Your pressure sensor is working. It might be that your bad relay or fuse in the fuse box. Check out my videos on that, guys, all right? So, you would have to check your fuse and relays and also power to the AC compressor, which will be another video. You can watch, check out my other videos how to do that. But in today's uh, scenario, because I did diagnose car, this car a little bit before making this video, so that way I'm up to the point and I know what to tell you guys exactly, all right? I would take this little guy, it could, you could have a, like a little, uh, probably something similar to this, you could have a nail, anything, right? All we're going to do is, inside that valve, there's a pin, right? There's a pin that looks something like that, all right? All we're going to do is, we're going to push that pin down and it's going to open up the valve, right? So, let's see. It got pressure, but I really don't feel the pressure. This is dead is dead all right guys so in this case we have no freon in the system all right so the pressure sensor is not going to indicate anything your ac is not going to click in really nothing is going to work all right the whole system is pretty much shut down all right what would you do in this case all right in this case we would charge up the ac system all right charge up the ac system with the freon proper amount don't put a can in. You can put one of those cans in just to test it. Once it has pressure, the AC should kick in. But where did it go, guys? Where the hell did my Freon go? It leaked out, all right? Pretty much it leaked out. So in today's video, I'm going to be uh, charging up the system. And I'm going to put dye in the system, oil, dye, and Freon using this uh, machine right here. This bad boy, all right? 
And then I'm gonna trace down the leakage, all right? Maybe if you can see it, maybe if you can't see it. Usually the condenser will leak or the lines will leak or maybe somebody worked on this car before, all right? And uh, they changed the radiator and they changed, because to do radiator on this car, you had to pull out the condenser, you had to discharge the AC system and they probably never charge it up. And this car is 12 years old, so maybe over time, slow leak, minor leakage. It could be anything, guys. It could be the evaporator inside. Who forget about that. All right, anyway, guys, let me set up a lot of things and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to do here. All right, guys, first thing I want to set up is this injection little guy I have here, right? This injects oil i have oil in there you see that there's oil in there and it injects oil i'm gonna do it i'm gonna show you guys how i inject also I have a dye here this is a dye here all right works great with ac system i've been using this for years have gloves on guys i got no choice but not put gloves on today all right and all i like to do is put half a teaspoon little bit less than half a teaspoon and that's it all right, and I'm gonna do one more thing. So we can, I'm gonna show you guys, maybe we can see, all right? I'm gonna go get my UV glasses and a light, all right? Let's take this little guy. We don't really have to mix it, but let's put a drop right here, guys. All right, can you see that? All right, so let me go get my UV light, and we're gonna see if the camera can see it with the camera on and the, uh, UV light, alright? So let me go get that. Alright guys, so here's my glasses for AC and there's my UV light right there, right? So let's take this guy and go over to the car. Alright guys, I'm back. So first, I got my glasses on here and whoo, look at that, it's shining at me. You see that? I spilled a little bit there and a little bit right there, alright? Oh, the camera can see it right there, guys. No UV, you can't see it. UV, you can see it, alright? So, Let's work some magic with this, all right? So we don't even need the glasses. Let me put glasses on the camera itself. Woo, bright. All right, there you go, bright. All right, guys, I did a little magic here for you guys. Right there, no AC, guys. My light is messing up a little bit. There you go, no AC, all right? And we're gonna track this guy down with the UV and that's how we're gonna do it guys, no AC. All right guys, uh, so there we have it. This one you can see cause it's wet, but once we have the AC system running, if it comes on, sometimes you will charge up the system, it will not come on, but it should come on guys, all right? But chances are it might not, all right? But we have to take that chance. But anyway, let me get all this stuff out of the way and hook up that machine, all right? All right guys, so, I'll take my lines here, right? The low side usually is bluish, all right? So let's put that on the low side. Let's open up the port. You hear that noise? That's from the line going in, all right? So we might have to clear the lines on this little guy. So that's how the machine works, something I can do there. All right, let me just give it a try. You never know. Sometimes it just, on recovery, you don't need to, right? So I am gonna do a recovery because there is something one in, maybe this little bit in there, right? So let's enter here. No, not yet. We're not ready to change that filter on this car yet. So it's a recovery, guys. And it's just, uh, it does it on its own, guys. I'm gonna walk away. I'm gonna come back. It's gonna beep in after like four or five minutes. Then I'm gonna do a vacuum. And then once I do 20 minutes of vacuum, uh, I got my injection pump ready right here, guys. I'm gonna keep it right here. Don't worry about this, guys. I'm gonna clean this up. A lot of people will leave me a co bad comments. It's all good, don't worry about it. Sometimes I like to leave a little sign so I know what the dye look like. Sometimes it could be red, blue, green, yellow, pink, purple, any color, right? Doesn't matter, right? But in my case, that's the color I use, all right? But anyways, uh, okay, so let's give this machine some time to recover, whatever. It might have a little bit in there, whatever one in there, all right? All right, guys, it's almost done. Six seconds, all right? This is gonna pump out oil here also. All right, so it recovered 0 0.078 of an ounce, all right? And we're just gonna let it, it's gonna measure. It measures, like I 
It's a scale. It'll measure how much it is it's pulling out. But remember, some of this went into the system, all right? All right, now it's draining oil. So if you go down here, you're going to see some type of bubbling here. It's going to be hard at first to see. But the machine should pull out oil. That's why we had to add oil every time I service, all right? So if I don't put oil in it, I could damage the AC compressor. There you go. Let that thing do its job, all right? So if you need information, what kind of oil, how much Freon goes, you'll find a sticker similar to this. I'll say refrigeration on it. Refrigerant, right? So this is pretty much done. And once the machine stops, I am gonna give it a 20 minutes of a vacuum, all right? 20 minutes is a really good amount of time. We can do a leak test with the machine, but I don't like to use the machine sometime. It could be that uh, it's holding, all right? Sometimes it could be a puncture here, but the suction, it says it, since it's a vacuum pressure, it'll suck and hold on to it, all right? So that really doesn't uh, satisfy me, all right? So I like to do, I like to put dye in the system, no matter what customer says or what the customer want. If they don't want a dye test, then I cannot determine it, all right? And it does take a little while, probably a hour or so, or 40 minutes of a letting this car cycle if there's any leakage it'll show up right but anyways it's complete guys there you go everything is complete all right let's press any button now we're gonna go into vacuum so all i gotta go down bring that arrow right there press enter we're gonna select no it's gonna ask me probably for a leak test okay it didn't but anyway it might but okay let's go to 20 minutes there you go 20 minutes all right okay okay there it is leak test we're not gonna you can do a leak test but i had cars that it told me uh test passed but the current customer come back the next day right so 20 minutes later once the vacuum is done i'm gonna throw this into the system after that we'll charge you all right all right guys the vacuum has completed as you can see all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna remove this low side all right since I got one hand, I'm gonna use one hand to put this on. And then, since it's a vacuum pressure, it's gonna go in really easy, all right? So all I need to do is, I'm gonna hold this one with my, one of my fingers right here, and I'm gonna turn this little guy. It's gonna be hard to see, but there it is, all right? So it's gonna just push all the material inside this injection system right here, all the way in there, all right? So that's it, it's in. Let's put the line back on. All right, so now we need to charge the system, all right? So we have to go to charge. So let's roll over the charge, enter. I'm gonna say no. All right, continue. We're gonna look for, this is a 2009. Enter. This is a Toyota Sienna. All right, I'm gonna look for Sienna. There you go. So it's gonna charge. It already knows how much it's gonna charge, all right? So we're gonna continue. All right, so it's gonna charge 1.11 ounces, okay? And we're gonna use both lines, guys. I like to use this so that way it has a lot of room. So we gotta make sure that both are open, all right? So pretty much open mean you twist this. See it has an open sign right there. So you just open both of the valves so it can throw in the free on. Alright, so both. Next. And let's start. There you go. If I touch this line, it will be ice cold. Yep. Both of these are ice cold. Pushing. Sometimes if it's a large leak, it will start to leak right away, all right guys? Okay. 
charged it's done all right so that's it what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take off this little guy Ooh, there you go let's put the cap on very important guys to put the caps back on right there you go and that's it all right so i'm gonna move all this stuff out of the way let's take this away so if i go inside the car now the ac should kick in all right Oh, I can hear it already. I heard it click. Yep. Look at that. Cold air. There you go. I hear it click. All right. And these fans are cold right here. The AC line, it already has water on it. There you go. Perfect. All right. So I need to let this car run. I'm gonna let it run for probably one day and then I'm gonna check, we'll check together, right? If there's any leak, we will find it, right? All right guys, it's time for us to check with this UV light, but I cleaned off a little bit of here, all right? And it's been two days and the AC is still working great. So I might not have a leak, so let's turn off the lights. Put this door down so it's nice and dark in here see if I splash a light you'll see some signs all right but if I put the you see that if I put the glasses in front of this camera we're able to all right, let me just hold it see that my light is flickering, what the hell? There you go. All right, so what you would do is, you're gonna see signs, you see that? That's where the cap is. You can clean that off, but usually it doesn't leak from that area. You will see big puddle off if it does. You see when I pop the line off, it splattered a little bit to the sides. And not much here. That's just a reflection of that aluminum piece. But you can go all around on this line right where the lines connect all the way in there all right i don't see anything on the line all right the ac compressor i don't see much on it all right even though the camera is showing a lot of brightness but that's not the sign compared to this what this is all right and check your condenser out guys i don't see nothing on this side oh i got i'm gonna have to take a look at my light there you go better all right so no signs so far all right just go through the whole thing you will see a big bright light and it's also a good idea to go underneath where your oil where, where the where the water drops from check there all right guys but my car still doesn't have any leaks so i'm gonna leave it alone as of now all right so if it dies out i'll check in a few days more but if it dies out then definitely it could be an internal leak inside where your evaporator is but anyways guys i don't see anything i'm gonna leave it alone and like i said it's been two to three days and the ac is still working and it was working great all right so thank you for watching guys if you have any problems with the ac any type just send me a message all right i will get back to you bye bye